Good morning everybody. I'm looking slightly unhinged this morning. <laughs> the hair. <laughs> like what is going on? It is moving week. Today I need to make a start with packing up my stuff to move out of the house. For those of you that don't know, we haven't bought a new house. We are renovating our current one, but we are moving back into Ryan's house much later than anticipated. My friend has actually been living at Ryan's house whilst her house sale goes through so we were meant to move into ryan's house when all of the work on our house started if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll leave my home playlist that has literally like everything you could ever want in terms of what we're doing in the house plan was to do our loft conversion and to move out the entire time it was being done but my friend's house sale hadn't gone through as fast as we all anticipated and we kind of knew that we were signing ourselves up for that when we said to her, yeah, come stay at Ryan's house. So <laughs> we are basically moving in for the last few weeks of the reno instead of right at the start when the worst was kind of happening, but it's still worth it for me, especially because I am struggling so much, you guys, to vlog. Like most everything you've seen has pretty much been at the weekend and you can kind of tell the bits that haven't been done at the weekend like the vlogs that haven't been vlogged at the weekend because you can hear that i'm having to like start and stop a lot and i think there was part of the what i wore that i filmed the other day there was like drilling and stuff because i was doing an outfit clip during the week and it's just been very very difficult and it's not really been ideal for me or for you because it does mean that we've missed the occasional <laughs> Upload. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to just kind of getting back into it, trying to maybe do a couple of videos a week. That would be ideal if from now on I could just get back on two videos a week. I would absolutely love that. But yeah, it's been really hard with not being able to vlog during the day and then in the evenings it's kind of just even though the evenings are lighter in the UK now, it's very dark in the house because it's just being the light is being blocked by all of the work that's going on so i am still going to be moving out because i just even though we can now sleep in the house again i'll show you a little update we have windows the windows have gone in so there's not big holes <laughs> in the upstairs anymore even though the windows have gone in i'm still gonna be moving out because i just cannot work here it's just not possible to ask builders to work in silence it's just not so yeah we are still going to be moving out it's just going to be for maybe max a month i don't really know we're going to play it by ear so i don't really know when we're going to be done at this point a lot of the work was held up in terms of like the roof because we had so much rain last month so i would say we're definitely a week behind schedule at this point so yeah i am i'm still moving on out i know most people would just kind of stick it out but for me and for you guys and like actually just being able to get some filming done i'm, I'm out of it so. so today i am going to start packing up like the non essentials kind of going to start like earmarking clothes that i want to pack as well i'm just i'm not really sure how long to pack you know when you don't know how long exactly you're going for my friend kate would actually be the person to ask because she's literally been living off of like a select amount of stuff for like the last three months yeah i feel like i just need to make like a little capsule wardrobe bung it in some boxes pack up my bags beauty products what else kitchen stuff so we'll probably do kitchen stuff tomorrow once we're done like using everything there is stuff at ryan's but i know he'll want to take like his favorite bits that he moved in here back to his house tell me you don't give a about cooking because I have no favorite kitchen things. But I'm just gonna take with me what I think I need. I can always come back, like it's not the end of the world. This isn't an, a proper move, but I can always come back if there's stuff that I've forgotten. I'm also not gonna pack our stuff for Ibiza yet because I just feel like we might be back in hopefully by then, I really hope so. If not, I'll come back and get all of my like vacation stuff. I'm not gonna take my nail stuff. I've actually just booked in with Ella to do my nails just for the next couple of rounds, just so I don't have to come back here just to do my nails. It's also just more time efficient because doing biab on my right hand with my left hand is just taking me like five hours and we don't have enough time right now as it is. <laughs> Trying to get a lot of work done and not a lot of working time. So I just wanna be like over the next month, I need to be the most efficient I possibly can. Get us back on track. I've talked for six minutes. Let's go do some packing. Okay, let's do shoes. Colorful Birkenstock, Fendi slides. Bottega sandals. We pack the Chanel sling back. Yeah. Major trainers. I'm going to leave these out because I wear these every single day. I'll probably wear them to move tomorrow. What else? Bags. There's so many. I feel like I should just take all the bags. Yeah. Let's just take all the bags. Oh. 
Let's do makeup. So we're gonna do a day and a night pouch and that should do us. daytime pouch an evening pouch for makeup just to make getting ready so easy that was very loud i'm so sorry if any of you are wearing headphones we're gonna do a couple more bits before i have to go and get dressed for the day i'm gonna do fragrances this is gonna be tough to like really whittle down what i want to take with me we may have to revisit this but i'm gonna give it a go firstly we're gonna take a new one this is beauty pie us unreal le smash santal like a little bit coconutty, sun creamy, a little bit like woody and earthy. It's so stunning. I feel like this is a good like unisex fragrance as well. It's very soft. I cannot go anywhere without YSL Sleek Suede. It is the most impractical of all fragrances. If you want to travel with this, like this is not one that I unfortunately can take on holiday. This is like stunning. This is one of those fragrances that if you give it to someone that knows me and ask them to smell it, they'll tell you that it smells like me along with Tom Ford Velvet Orchid and Tobacco Vanilla. Those are two fragrances that people smell and they're like, that is Susie. Oh, I could take the mini of this to be fair. Oh, this is summer in a bottle to me. It's like the most, I call it baby skin. Like this is, this is what fresh babies smell like to me. Obviously not in the same way, but it just really is so skin like. It's a really soft, powdery, floral it's just got this kind of like vanilla-y coconutty softness to it it almost is like the a floral sun cream fragrance if you know what i mean like it just smells like summer to me so whether i take the big one or the little one i will still be taking this with me we also have an elegans cairo this is more of an autumnal scent though to me and hopefully i will be reunited with this bedroom by then but we're gonna leave that one we do have a still order bronze goddess in here i actually used to wear this when i would stay at Ryan's like on a longer term basis. There were like so many bottles of this around his house. I don't know. I might save that one for my holiday. I have a whole drawer in my office as well full of fragrances. These are just the ones that live in my bedroom. Mm. Oh, that may have to come with me. I don't know if this is a bit much though. So can't forget the chews. I do have a small one of this in my bag. So this is just automatically going to come with me. It's Jimmy Choo, I want you forever. I think it's my favorite, but this for like weirdly this i prefer for daytime and this one i prefer for like a proper like girls night out kind of situation this is so dusty on the top these are like my display bottles it may have this one may have to come with me i've got the baby bottle of this in my one of my handbags i'm taking with me so then we have i'm dusting them off because these are all of the ones that sit out in the bedroom and i haven't been using them in here for a while we have love don't be shy from by Killian. Mmm, that's so good. It's always reminds me of Amelia. That is what she smells like, if you're ever wondering. Oh, good girl gone bad. I can't decide. I can't decide. Okay, we're gonna take this one. There are so many. I also have a new Valentino one that I want to take with me as well. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have enough hands. Is this too much? For like a month away? I'm gonna have to whittle some of those down. Maybe we'll leave the Killian, because this is more of a night timey fragrance for me and at least the next three three weeks of my life are very like chill i'm gonna leave this because i have a mini but i'm also just gonna wear this on holiday like religiously i reckon so we'll take jimmy choo i want you which one roll Vassel, sleek suede because this will do me for night time this is a another nice nighttime one this is a nice daytime one for me the smash santal another nice daytime one i feel like i need another daytime one is that too much we'll see we'll see but i feel like four is four is good four is reasonable she says oh but glossier you okay that's that's the daytime i just put this on even if i'm wearing other fragrances like it just is the best skin smell we're back i'm feeling slightly fresher than i looked earlier oh my god i just looked back at the footage from this morning and i look disheveled i still feel a little bit disheveled now but i'm feeling a hundred times better than i looked this one like the anyway i can't talk about it it actually upsets me when i was looking at the footage i was like wow i don't know why i even dry shampoo anymore like it just is not 
it doesn't work for me it's not the vibe i used to literally live on the stuff and now i'm just like wow you can you're not cute enough to be able to get away with that anymore honey just wash your hair just kidding still adorable but i do just has anyone heard that it's just really bad for you as well and now i can't not think about it whenever i use it which is not very often anymore anyway I am dressed. If you want to see the outfit in full and get all of the details, it will have been in my previous video, so I will link that at the top of the screen for you to go and watch. I thought I would quickly give you a little Renault update. This is my favourite time of the day to give a Renault update because the light, well, the light's just beautiful up here all the time, but especially late afternoon or like mid-afternoon as it is at the moment, it's just really gorgeous. So it's a little bit earlier than when I showed some people around yesterday so we've got a lot more light in this room as you can see windows are going in which is super exciting and we've got a little storage area that's kind of in process underneath here which i'm so excited about as i showed you last time our loft storage in here as well so this room is just looking lovely the light in there is beautiful the light in here is actually better maybe i'll show you later this evening when the sun has fully come around but the light comes in kind of in the evening and late afternoon on this side and it's stunning bathroom window has gone in we've got like proper full-on frosting on that glass no one needs to see me peeing and then i'm also going to kind of add a layer to the glass in here as well just to diffuse the light and make it really beautiful and soft when i'm filming so i don't really love when you get like you're filming and you get patches of light as you can see coming through here there ends up being like in some parts of the day whole big blocks of light and it's horrible when you're trying to film a clip in the middle of a room so yeah more still to be done on the glass in here i think i'm gonna have some lovely curtains here at the beginning maybe shutters long term but we'll see but yeah we have got windows which is so so nice the light up here is just great honestly you don't realize when you live like on a ground floor and that's your only option you don't realize how different the light hits when you have like an upstairs just so gorgeous like oh, yes all vlogging updates will take place upstairs from here on out like my skin just looked like ah oh, glowy she's glowy but anyway now that we have windows in it does mean that our final couple of nights before we move out we can finally sleep back in the house again because it's not horrendously loud it is still a little bit loud like just because the loft area hasn't been kind of like fully boxed in yet nothing crazy it's just like basically the same as having a window open but we don't have any sheets over big holes in the walls anymore that are like rattling and making the ceiling rattle and the lights rattle so it does mean that we can move out of the garden and i can have one or maybe two nights where i don't have to go outside to pee which has been great i've just loved that so much there's nothing quite like getting cystitis in the summer and then having to go outside at night when it's rainy to go inside to pee yeah it's been an interesting few weeks so buzzing to be able to move back into the house it's so nice up here it's so warm it's freezing downstairs <laughs> that is my little renovation update for the week we have window oh my god it's so cold i've just hit the cold threshold like you get past here <laughs> and you're like oh it's cold i actually have a little home order to show you guys i was going to show you in the kitchen but the light in here is a little bit blue and just not lovely at this time of day so let's actually go back upstairs okay first of all in my dressing room this wasn't what i envisioned it looking like but the light up here is very nice so i will take it this is what i am paying the big bucks is good lighting i actually can't do another winter trying to make good of being in a bungalow like there's only so many hours in the day that i can work for in the winter because it just gets dark it gets so dark on the ground floor after about like 2 p.m in the winter so it just means like the light gets good around 9 or 10 goes around 2 i just have like half a working day to be able to work with going forward in my life it's not a sustainable way of working like if i have a family i'm gonna need to be as flexible as possible not like constrained to like it's fine now 
I literally, it just hits like 9 a.m. in the winter and I'm like, go, 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 go. I would not eat lunch because it would eat into an hour of my time in the winter. Like I would just skip meals. Like people would pop over to see me, like the girls that I would work with and they'd pop in to like do their bits and they'd be like, have you eaten yet today? And I'd be like, no. And it would be like 4 p.m. because I'd be like working until there was not a shred of daylight left. And I know some people are gonna think that's dumb, but that is just an example of how mad trying to do this job is in the UK. And it sounds like the most shallow, trivial thing. And it's hard because there are so many creators that have like big houses and they're like, their lighting is amazing because their houses are like big and bright and airy. And then you just, you just feel and you're not all working from a level playing field. Like it can make you really feel the struggle. Like, I can't imagine try the struggle of trying to get like your content to look good and to be working to a certain standard that you want to hold yourself to. Then with a family where you kind of have to put them first and be completely flexible with your working but anyway really shallow but it's just one of those things that is part and parcel with like if you work in photography or videography like these kinds of things they don't sound like they matter to most people but they really matter and this is such a basic thing but just having an upstairs where the light is beautiful i'm so happy about it and this room was designed for good lighting as well so it was designed for morning lighting evening lighting like lighting on both sides with lighting in the middle and i'm really really happy that i went with that because we did have an option to have like no windows on either side and i was like <laughs> that's not gonna work for me anyway i have picked up some things for the kitchen this week i've got a, something from arquette and then a whole like h and home order these are items for my dining table specifically i did a whole big order which is so funny that it's arrived and we're literally about to move out but we'll be back in before you know it and we'll be using these with the dining table it is engineered marble which i feel like what's the difference between engineered marble and quartz I have no idea they're probably the same thing one just sounds fancier than the other but they have a gloss to them it doesn't mark super easily but i have noticed a couple of like little scratches appearing on it and i just want to look after it the best i can we currently don't have any placemats because we obviously have not had a dining table so i picked up a couple of sets of placemats i've gone for different vibes and i'm really actually really excited about each of them equally so to start we've got these woven beigey colored placemats like just super inoffensive really simple really gorgeous and i'm now going to need to do a whole plate order we've actually been meaning to do this for a really long time we got given some money for christmas which we're still yet to use but i actually just smashed yet another plate last night so it was doing my recycling, dropped a jar into the dishwasher, onto a plate, plate smashed. Did the jar that I wanted to recycle smash? No, it didn't. So we need new plates now more than ever because I've just broken yet another one. We're gonna do a whole extra bit, but I wanna see the plates IRL. I've been meaning to see that for a long time. So that's gonna be incoming as well. But I thought for when we were hosting, it would just be nice if I was getting place maps to do like the full shebang and get some other bits as well. We might even end up hosting around Christmas at this rate, who knows? I don't really want to, we all know. I didn't enjoy it last year, but just in case, I thought I would get us a, I'll use this anyway, but I got us a linen table runner. I can't open it fully, but it's nice and long. Again, just super chill goes really perfectly with the woven placemat lovely and then i also picked up napkins never have i ever had napkins that weren't like paper napkins these are gorgeous like beigey linen napkins like a slightly different like darker beige but these are really gorgeous they actually do like a greeny tone as well which i thought would be really lovely for christmas but i just went with the beige because i felt like these would be very simple got a few packs of those i got a six pack of the beigey grey linen for when we're like hosting potentially christmas and bits like that and i also got these napkin ties as well i mean these come with little bits of string around them and that is actually a really cute way and a really affordable way to present your napkins you can do that but i also just thought these little beige ones would be really nice as well and i thought these would go especially nicely with these pink ones that I got they're like a dusky rosy pink and this I have in my head more for like girls dinner and I also have <laughs> I say this like I cook a lot yeah I would like actually love to start having my friends over for dinner so I got these beautiful like dusky rose napkins and I thought the little napkin rings would look really lovely around these and I thought those would go especially nicely with these 
lace mats. I just thought they were a bit more fun and a little bit funky. And if we wanted something just a little bit more wavy and out there, this would look so cute. Because the dining table is like a marble we can really actually have a lot of fun with table setting without it feeling like super crazy and like not in keeping with our home because everything like the table and chairs is super in keeping with our home so this is more adding in like a little bit of fun then the linen napkins are kind of like tying it back in to like that kind of organic texture that i like to have running through the house so i got four of those and i'm so excited it's gonna be so fun yeah those. And then I got something, I got something from Marquette, which I also got on H&M, but you know, they stock everything now. And I'm really excited about this. I feel like we'll use this all the time at dinner, but I thought this would be especially nice given like the pink, this would contrast the pink table set up nicely. I just saw this and I loved it. And again, it's a little bit more wavy, but I thought it would be so beautiful given how neutral everything is in the kitchen. <laughs> So it's like a water jug it's in the shape of a green fish and i just thought it would be so cool with like the pink placemats and just some we're gonna get the plates will probably get a like just gonna be very neutral kind of like stone textured i just thought this would be a really lovely contrast this could also make a cool vase but i think it's just really fun for water i love it i think it's so fun that is the other thing that i bought from h&m home i'm gonna go and lay some of it out on the table now and just have a little play around but i do feel like until we get new plates it's gonna be a little bit of a weird one because a lot of the plates that we have we have a few white ones and then a lot of them are black so i feel like we just need some more kind of like natural textures and everything will be like oh maybe the cutlery as well the cutlery is also black we've been meaning to get rid of it for ages because ryan hates it so i'll probably just go for a lovely simple silver as everyone's been begging me to do for about 500 years now i can't get up oh god okay let's go play about with some place mats okay so annoyingly i think i'm missing a placemat out of my order i'm gonna go check back upstairs and make sure i haven't like dropped it on my way down but this is the overall vibe that i was kind of thinking of you guys let me know what you think i really like it personally i love the contrast of the green and the pink and i think with like white plates or a more neutral effect this would be really lovely and yeah with non black or you know petrol effect cutlery which is what i already have i think this would be beautiful with just with like a silver or even maybe a gold but i think silver is probably the best option i think this would just be such a lovely fun little table setup and then i'm gonna show you the more neutral version And this is the more neutral setup. I actually think I really like the pink. It brings me way more joy. I actually think they do the pink, but with like, it's beige with a black trim. So maybe I'll take a look at that, especially because I need to order an extra placemat anyway. I really like this. I think this would actually be a really lovely one for like a Christmas setup. Maybe not with this. I'm kind of not sure on the green. I don't know if I prefer it very muted, but I really love this with the pink placemats. But yeah, I think this with like candles in the center and maybe like a garland or something running through the center would be so beautiful. Yeah, very happy with this. Also, I'm aware that the runner doesn't run off the table. That was an error on my part, but one that I'm not actually mad about because I hate being this person on the end that gets like the flap of the runner. I actually think this works way better personally. I'm very happy with my table setup. I actually wanna try all of this without the runner as well and see what it looks like just because that's probably how we will eat our dinner day to day. I almost forgot to pop a plate down just to see. Oh yeah, oh my God, yes. These bowls are from White Company and it's kind of telling me that I just need to order more white company bowls because they are just the best. If anyone has any like plate or bowl recommendations, I would love to hear those. I'm really, I'm a big fan of these. I love how uneven they are. I just think they're so cool. Okay, yeah, still cute. Happy with that. Also, just a note on the napkin rings. You do kind of have to fluff out 
your napkin a little bit because they are quite wide just a little note that or you have to like beef it out with two which i just think is quite unnecessary and who has that many napkins just rolling around the house so yeah just a note on those they are a little bit wider but i'm a big fan of just tying them with a little bit of string i think it looks very cute what do you think hello what do you think I need to show you, I've just been playing about, we've got different options. But yeah, that was the last one that I did. I was thinking we should get, you know, like you've always been begging, get new knives and forks in like a silver. Oh my god, we have them at your house. Oh sure. my god, switch your route, perfect. You like it? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I was like, this is a bit rogue for me, but I think it looks really cool. I'm going to show in the pink now. Let's see. Let me know what you think. This is more for like a girl dinner, so if you hate it, it's fine because you don't have to see it. I feel like you have to see two side by side. What do you think of that? Mm. Oh, you're gonna like it. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Oh, okay. We will not be getting the neutral versions of the way we place that. Mm. No, but I like the wiggle, the wiggliness. I don't know if I like the colour. Oh, you don't like the pink? I actually love the pink with the green. But it's fine because you're not invited to go in. Yeah, fair enough. We went to start packing my clothes and I actually started getting really overwhelmed. I don't want to be separated from my, from my things again for a little while at least. I feel like we've traveled so much recently that I'm just like, I just want to stay with my things. For like two weeks, I don't wanna to have to decide what is coming with me and what is not. So instead I'm choosing my bedding. I'm choosing the bedding. I am thinking, Mr. Ryan, if you're listening, I'm thinking we take the bedding that we already have on our bed we take the duvet and then i know what size the duvet is and i can just use all of our bedding yeah. from here because ryan's bed sheets are giving like bachelor pad <laughs> and we need some girl energy up in that house so we have the stripey on don't we so we'll take take the stripey pillows mm -hmm. silk pillowcases a necessity i think these are all done out apart from the silk pillowcases by the way we'll take all the linen pillowcases i'm excited to see our bedding in your house because i haven't actually seen any bedding that isn't your original bedding in that bedroom i think it's gonna look good yeah i'm excited to transform it so pillowcases take the white linen one that i've just washed I'm gonna take the spare mattress cover just in case we do both have king size bed sheet also from Donnell. It's just the best place for bedding. Got the cute little faux Soho house pillowcases. I'm gonna take those as well. We currently have a bed sheet on that looks like this and that's being washed. I'm taking this white Zara home linen bed sheet. That's that done and my procrastination from picking my clothes. I now have to just go and pick my clothes, don't I? Great. I'm gonna take like seven Adenola sets and just wear them on rotation. In we go. I've just made myself a little smoothie, a coffee smoothie for a little pick-me-up and I am about to really crack on with the packing. I procrastinated quite heavily yesterday. I have no excuses. I massively procrastinated. I originally thought I'd have the majority of the packing done yesterday. I did not. So today I am going to be doing clothes. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna throw a few bits in like a suitcase and oh wow sorry it was hair wash night last night as well so the faffing with the hair is going to be real in this vlog we're probably just going to have to like you know clothing but food dog stuff food and dog stuff priority but we can't really do that until we're like ready to go because well i could do the dry stuff but fridge and freezer can't really do until we're ready to go because it's just going to be sour on the side and that's not great so i'm going to make a start with my clothes. This is making me know that we made the right decision in like staying and not moving from this house because I'm actually so sad to leave. Not necessarily for the house, but I just love where the house is. I will meet, I will miss my beach walk so, so much. I had my last beach walk this morning. I'm, I mean, I'm probably still gonna do the beach walk. Just be an extra, extra, extra long walk. But yeah, I just love it and I'm gonna miss it so much, even though it's only gonna be a few weeks. But also equally excited to just be able to vlog without like, like at the moment I'm being extra quiet. Oh, I just realized my settings are a little bit high. Excited to be able to vlog without just feeling self-conscious or without like 
being interrupted by drilling so yeah it's gonna be great i also ordered my bathroom suite this morning I woke up to a message it was like yeah have you got your shower tray yet and i was like no i didn't think i needed that for a while so just ordered the entire bathroom suite this morning i think the tiles are on their way i'm very excited about that and i'm so excited to show you all of that as it starts going in just yeah can't wait it's not gonna be my dream bathroom by any means but i am so excited the tiles in particular and then everything else i'm gonna like maybe slowly update in the future but the tiles i've gone for like hopefully if i've got it right i've gone for forever tiles very excited about that anyway i actually i am gonna do my skincare that's what I'm gonna do, that would be a good start. Still really procrastinating, putting off the clothes, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna start with my skincare. I feel like that's a good point to start in seeing as we're already in the bathroom. Mm. The smoothie is so good. I have no idea on quantities, but I will, <laughs> you saw me make it. There's like five dates in it. A banana that's chopped up. I filled the coconut milk to almost just covering the chopped bananas. Throw in some ice on top. A shot of coffee mixed with a little bit of green and blacks cocoa powder it tastes exactly like the one you can get at the soho farmhouse which i had like three of when we were away and it was unreal i love them that was my morning routine at farmhouse was gym and smoothie, gym and smoothie. let's get on with this i always have my standard pack of skincare that i travel with ready to go it's got a few hair bits in it at the moment as well that's just fallen out but i always end up forgetting things or there's something extra that i need so i'm gonna go through what we've got in here so we have my shiseido night serum shiseido day serum we're not going anywhere without those they are like botox for your face i haven't had my botox topped up in a while we have movement we have movement but this i swear it keeps that like lovely shiny forehead consistency even when i'm in between appointments i have my skin in me which i haven't used so much at the moment and my skin tbc is still good so this might have done the trick and now i can just like have a normal skincare routine but i'm still keeping it just just in case but i'm gonna ask them if they'll dial it back a few notches in terms of like the percentages just to make it more gentle i don't think think we need it as potent then we have eye creams actually i used up an eye cream oh my god this needs to go in the bin but i wanted i kept it in my bag because i wanted to tell you i used one up i can't remember the last time i used an eye cream but i really love this one this is the ren firm and lift eye cream really really liked that i have replaced it with something that's very similar but a little bit more rich and nourishing this is like a step up it's the ceramite af eye balm from drunk elephant really really lovely again really enjoying it it's, it's like the big sister of that eye cream and this one i use in the evening i've got this one for day it's the shiseido benefines wrinkle smoothing eye cream because you can't start too early i just want all the help i can get and that is a very 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 nice eye cream really enjoying that this is a day moisturizer i use from shiseido it's the essential energy Hyd hydrating cream this also comes with an eye serum and a face serum this is just my fave out of everything though but you can like the routine is good when you use it all together then uh, this is one that Vic actually gave me when we went to Santorini this is a bit too drying for me but my god the smell is unreal so I use it mainly for the smell don't think I'll be able to use that in the winter though so using it whilst I can I've got tweezers hair gel and then I need to remember to put this in there this is the this has hair all over it because I brushed my hair in the bathroom this morning this is the beauty pie plantastic cleanser i actually used up oh i need to show you i got a whole load of empties today i used up my beauty pie super healthy hot oil double cleansing bar i will definitely be getting another one i loved it i loved it so much um but i also really equally like this one and i think my skin really likes this one as well it's been looking very very good lately so I'm going to be taking this with me i am making my way through this as well so again just going to be repurchasing both of these these are my like favorite cleansing duos at the moment i really haven't wanted for anything else i need to make sure my cleanser stays in there because i always forget my cleanser because it's just big and chunky they need to make minis of that also going to throw in my spf this is the la roche posay anthelios tinted SPF 50 plus. I'm scared I'm going to drop this. I put that up here so that I don't forget it. I then also want to take tan. This one is kind of coming to like the end. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's half full, but I go through these so quick. I use at least three pumps per like area of my body, so this gets used up very quick. So I am envisioning that this will not be coming back here with me. I'll probably use it up whilst I'm at ryan's house i'm also going to take my body oil this is the esper detoxifying bath and body oil this is 
so good. Don't forget toothpaste because I do not want to be using whatever toothpaste is left at Ryan's because Ryan's toothpaste sucks. He uses just like a Colgate, which is fine, but it's never a whitening toothpaste. And these are just my jam, and this is my favorite. This is the Pearl Drops Luminous Bright Daily Whitening Toothpaste. Does the packaging suck and does it leak all the time because the formula is quite runny? Yes, but will I stop using it? No. You need to take my tiny toothbrush for cleaning my brace, and then stuff for cleaning my brace. Shampoo. Okay, so I've got a refresh of this range from Kerastase, so I'm just going to take that whole range with me we're now just using the window still as like things i am taking we have the shampoo which i've already started using and i'm also going to take this mask as well i'm literally just about to use this up i will be repurchasing this because it is stunning it smells incredible and my hair just feels really beautiful and really hydrated after i've used that if anyone's wondering what it is i will link it but it's the sol janeiro uh hair mask and this is grubby af it's well loved and i couldn't recommend it more it's so so nice i actually might have the shampoo and conditioner as well at ryan's so i might just use the whole shebang and smell unreal okay so final check to see if there's anything else that i want to take i actually reorganized the skincare cupboard the other day and kind of organized it almost like by brand this is like a minis section but it's still kind of organized by brand and down here is all like by brand and product and i'm just obsessed with how it's turned out it's also kind of ended up color coordinated a little bit as well and i really i saw amelia do that in her bathroom the other day and i really like that vibe but weirdly i'd literally just when i watched it i'd just done it by brand and it's kind of giving a similar effect because everything is from each brand is like certain colors anyway but yeah obsessed with how this has turned out i actually kind of just want to take it all with me i love all of these products so much i'm gonna miss them i'm tempted to take summer fridays i've already got these obviously and then maybe a clay de po magic serum we're gonna need to take this if you have got a hairy upper lip girls with the hairy upper lip will know we'll take this little combo actually we don't need to be turning ryan's house into a pharmacy we're gonna leave those we'll take what we have maybe we'll take a mini magic cream for like the on over days. It is time to pack some food. Brian has already packed some of his kitchen essentials. We've got a chopping board, we've got knives that are wrapped in paper, seems very safe. A colander and a pan. Apparently those are all he needs for his kitchen. We obviously have bits at his already. I feel like we're gonna need a few more things. Like we have cutlery and plates and stuff like that. So we're all good on that front. I am gonna take another pan though because Ryan seems to think that we can get by in life with one pan. And I love being a minimalist when I cook, like saves on washing up, we all love that. But sometimes you need more than one pan. The company that actually make this one would beg to differ because our place literally makes pans where it's like one pan is all you need, but I disagree. I like cooking with many pans, you know? So I'm gonna take one of mine and I feel like this one will go really nicely in Ryan's kitchen because it's very black and white. So the black pan is perfect. I don't feel like I'm packing efficiently in terms of space at all, but bear with me because I haven't moved myself since 2012. It's been nearly a decade. No way. What year are we in? It's been a decade since I last actually moved myself. Every other time I have been vlogging the move, so I always have a company like help out. Then I can just like make all the moving vlogs. Whereas I could not make a moving vlog and move myself. Like it would not be possible. It would take days, weeks, and normally I do a one day turnaround. So yeah, bear with me. Haven't packed anything in a while. We also need to do food. I made a little start earlier by putting some rice and some dates in here and ryan has added to it with the other essential in life which is coffee and yeast flakes interesting the things he adds in and considers an essential can baffle me i'm going to add in some bananas because they are an essential and then hot chocolate powder to me that is an essential we're probably going to need some fairy liquid fridgy bits We've got peppers, courgette, baked bacon, milk, coconut milk, butter, cheese, 
barbecue chicken, hand cocktails, an essential pesto. Are we gonna need pasta? That is the question. And I think to that, the answer is always yes. This is where I realized that everything is an essential and I want to take everything with me. This whole entire cupboard is an essential. I have not thought this through. Salt, chili flakes, pepper, white wine vinegar, an essential, olive oil. Those can be my essentials. Different types of pasta. I think that is enough. Just to get us started, I can come back if I need more stuff, but pasta and fresh ingredients are all the essentials I need. And now, we need to go around, tape up everything. Well, people make this look so easy. Okay. So this is everything my high maintenance ass needs for three weeks. Honestly, are any of us even surprised at this rate? Probably not. You guys, we are in. I am on the bachelor pad leather sofa of dreams, <laughs> but we are in. We have just ordered a pizza and we've been watching, oh hello. We've been watching at home with the Furies and I have got a lot of unpacking to do. But I think that is going to have to be a job for tomorrow. I can't, I don't have the mental capacity to do that right now. It's like 11 p.m. We didn't get in here until, God, it must have been gone seven, half seven, eight. Like, yeah, two trips in the car. We're all in, it all went smoothly, but yeah. I need to sleep. But very excited to unpack everything in the next vlog. So I will see you guys then. I hope you've enjoyed unpacking with me and it wasn't too boring. I can't remember the last time I did a pack with me on camera and hopefully it was interesting. But yeah, tomorrow we are gonna start the unpacking, which I, yeah, like I said, cannot wait for. I'm going to go to bed now because I feel like I'm going cross-eyed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Love you, bye. Mm -hmm.